Hey checkers, what are we drawing today? Hank! Alright dudes, you got your marker? Yeah. Alright, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. We're gonna go, we're gonna try and go slow, but if we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video! Yes, you guys can always pause the video. We're super excited for this movie. Yes. We've already drawn Dory with hats, so be sure to check out that. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna start with our paper, horizontal. horizontal. Yes. And we're gonna start by drawing his eyes, his two eyes, right here, kind of in the middle towards the top right. So we're going to first draw a round circle. Circles around. Yes, a round circle. <laughs> That's kind of in the top right. Good uh, job, you nailed it. <laughs> nailed it right it's in the top right. And <laughs> more in the left center. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> we're going to draw his other eye and we're going to draw overlapping the first eye we drew. So it's just going to be a backward C. Good job. Now we're going to draw his eyelids and they're going straight across the middle of his eyes. Good. Now let's draw his pupil. Pupil. Pew -pew. And it's just going to be a little, a little half circle underneath his eyelids. We're done. Yeah. Well, not quite. Now <laughs> we're going to draw the iris that's going around his eye, around his pupil. He's got blue eyes and we're going to do that on both eyes. Okay, now we're gonna draw his eyebrows, and they're gonna be funny upside down shapes, raindrop shapes. So there's one, and then we're gonna draw the other one on this side. <laughs> now we can connect them. If you have a little gap, we can connect in between the eyebrows. That's for the top of his head. Okay, now let's draw his face. So he's got some wrinkles or little uh, bags under his eyes. So we're gonna draw a little U there. We'll draw another U on this side. He's tired. Yeah, he looks super tired. Then we're gonna draw one more underneath each eye. Good job. Now I have these kind of touching oh. over here. That's okay. I bet you can make that work. Yes, good job. And then have the other one touching up here. Good. Yeah, that works. I like it. And then this one right here, let's connect oh. that one to his eye too. Awesome. Now let's have two little lines coming down. I think that's kind of his nose. Yeah. Good. All right, now let's draw his, the front of his face coming down. And this is going to turn into his mouth. Here. And then we're going to draw a frowny face. Good, and then we'll draw another curve coming down. Awesome, now let's draw the other side of his head. We're gonna start right here on this, on the side of his eye, and we're just gonna draw a diagonal line coming down, and let's have these come down at the same distance. Good, we're gonna extend your paper so you have more oh. room down <laughs> here at the bottom. That's okay, it's totally fine. Now he has a little earpiece, or an ear shape. I don't know what this is called on an octopus. <laughs> and then a little oval inside. A weird ear. Yeah, weird ear. There we go. Hey, now let's draw the back of his head. We're going to start up here on his eyebrow and then we're going to draw curve that S's and comes back in. It's hair. Yeah, that's the back <laughs> of his head. <laughs> and I drew that really far out. It probably didn't need to come out that far. There we go. Good. Nice. Okay, let's extend the bottom of your paper and then we're going to draw his legs down here at the bottom. Okay. Now, it's a really simple way, if you run out of room on your paper, you can just tape more paper down on the bottom so that it extends the, the size of the page. Now let's yes. move these out of the way so you have more room to draw. Now we're gonna start on his legs. So right here on the left part of his body, we're gonna draw a big upside down U. Good. Now we're gonna draw another upside down U right here inside, a smaller one. Then this U is gonna curl around and touch 
the bottom of the U. Good. And then it's going to go up and make another one and curl around. That was pretty tricky. Mm, kind of. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to run out of room and that's okay. We'll just go off the page on this side. Okay. Now it's totally fine. Now this side right here, we're going to curl around. And then it's going to come up and finish up here on the end. Good. Keep going. You did it. Awesome. Now we're going to extend right here. We'll go out a little further. So right here. And you can use overlapping, but I'm going to go through and just finish all the way into the end. Good. And you can make it a little thicker. Good job. And then into the end. Perfect. That's awesome. Now let's add the little suction cups on his legs. So I'm going to add two circles in that small U and then a couple other half circles. Now I'm going to add more circles on this side and this part of his leg all the way around to the end. That looks like an octopus leg, doesn't it? Yes. Good job, dude. All right, let's add one more leg right next to it. So we're going to start right here. We're going to go up really big and then come back down. Another big U, upside down U. And then we're going to do another one. Good. And then, an, and then this one's going to come out straight. Hey, now we're going to come back and we're going to add thickness to it, to his leg. So we're going to start right here. And then as we get to the end of his leg, we're going to get closer. We're going to taper down. And then use a little U at the end so that his leg isn't pointy. Good. Now let's come up here and we'll divide it. So we're going to do another line inside so that you can see where his, his suction cups are on the bottom part. Good. Now let's add those suction cups. We'll do little circles, ovals that go all the way down his leg. Okay, now let's add another leg. We'll do another U shape. And then this one's gonna come up like that. So it makes you a regular U and then it's gonna curl right at the end. Okay, now let's come back here and we'll do the other side of his leg and then it tapers. So it gets thinner as it gets to the end. Okay, now we're going to divide just the end of this leg. So I'm just going to come up like, like that. And then we'll put more suction cups on this side. Okay, I'm going to add two more legs. You're running out of room over here, too. We should extend it. <laughs> Let's extend. We'll add more paper over here so that you could draw the whole guy. Okay. Okay, man. Now your paper okay. is getting huge. <laughs> yes. I like it, though. It's awesome. You know, I, I've always told you, yeah. I really like it when your drawings are big. We're going to draw the two legs that are extending out the back. So let's draw another upside down. U shape that comes out and then this one's just gonna do a small up and then out good now we're gonna come back so we'll do a little U or a little sideways curve and then back into his body good it's kind of hard to get over the paper yeah just press it down Okay, now we're going to draw the last leg. We're just going to put a little upside down 
skew there. And this one's using overlapping, so it's behind the other leg. Oh, Whoa, it's you. getting big. Yeah, I love it, man. Whatever. You're, so, you're drawing everything huge. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, then we're going to draw another. Whoops. I kind of went, did something weird in there. That's okay. We'll just do so a little upside down U inside. That's totally cool. And then I'm going to come up and we're going to draw the inside. That's where the suction cups are going to be. Good. And then let's draw the leg curling up and then coming back down. Good. I like it. <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> hot dog. Looks like <laughs> looks like a hot dog. And then we'll draw we'll divide the line in there. And then on this side, let's put the suction cups on this side facing up and then inside this leg, we'll do them inside. So maybe his leg is twisting. That's awesome. Now he has a, a few more legs, but we're just going to imagine them being behind his body. Let's draw, let's actually draw one line here or two lines here to connect in betweens. So there isn't that space. And if we wanted to, we could draw his, his uh, uh, arm coming up and holding Dory up here. Yeah. But let's just leave it like this and let's pick out our colors and we'll color him. Yeah. He's going to look really okay. cool after we're done coloring. Yeah. All right. We have three colors. We're going to use a really red orange. It's called vermilion, and then we've got this pale orange, which is called pale, pale vermilion. vermilion. Yeah, and then we have this light blue. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Let's do it right, right now. now. Chuckers, good job. Give me five, man. Did you have fun? Yes. It turned out awesome. Yes. Now that I think about it, I don't think his mouth is up here. I think it's lower. Yeah. So if you guys wanted to redraw this or draw my second time, you could draw this line straight down. That's what I would do. Yeah. Straight down, just like we did on this side, because I think his mouth is down here at the bottom. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but he turned out really cool, and I really like how big you draw, man. Humongous. It always looks better when we draw big. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing. What's his name again? Hey. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.